All right, what is going on, people of YouTube? It is Mick here from Reality Tech. And basically, where we're at is I've got the RTL SDR blog version 4. I've got it all hooked up with my computer here, plugged in. So now we're going to go through the install process. The first thing you're going to need to do is download the SDR software. So if you go to airspy.com, download, and then if you, what you want to select is the software to find radio package. Um, this has the newest SDR software, drivers, all that stuff that you'll need. Once you have that download loaded, you'll just unzip it and it'll give you this folder here. Um, and the one main thing you're looking for in this folder right now is this install RTL SDR. So if you double click it, hit run, it will go ahead and download it from their GitHub and get you all the dependencies, Zadig, all that stuff. Just once that's done, just any key to continue. And then what you want to do now is open up Zadig. Click yes. And then once that's open there, now this is showing a little different than mine, um, but what you'd want to do here is go to options, list all devices. And then you'll get a lot of different things here. Now mine didn't show up initially. Mine was just this list of all my gaming stuff I have hooked up to my computer here. Um, so I did have to click that. And then basically what you look for there is your device. Mine is a blog V4. So you would select that. You would make sure that this says win USB version, whatever. And then you'd want to hit install driver. Mine says reinstall driver just because I did take this video already and had no audio. That can take anywhere between one to five minutes to install the driver there. Um, they recommend not touching anything else there because you can break your other drivers on your computer if you do. Once that's done, once it says driver is updated, all you have to do now is just start up this SDR shop sharp dot dot net eight, which is a it's a mouthful there to try to say all that. But we'll double click that and this will start up the actual SDR software with AirSpy. Um, and then what you'll do here is you will go to here, the little hamburger menu, source, and you'll select RTL SDR USB. If you click that and then hit play, and now I have my audio turned down because it's going to be very static because this does work, but you hit play. And if you see streaming there, you are up and running, you are good to go. So like I said, in the next videos, I'm going to mess around with, you know, picking up different stations on here. Um, I'm going to do some aircraft tracking. I did that a long time ago with the old one, but I want to do a newer, more up-to-date guide on it. And then even try to get a satellite image from one of the weather satellites. So hopefully this helps some people. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment below. Hope you guys have a great day.